welcome to Arenda House in 80 Days. It's Tuesday 24th of November and we're in the kitchen for a kitchen keepers session. We'll just get started on our warm up. We're just going to do some, do some toe taps out to the front and out to the side just while I kind of chat you through my usual chat about health and safety. You're the person that knows all about your health conditions, what you're able, not able to do. So please be mindful of that when you participate in the session. We always start with a wee warm up and some sort of activity. And we'll try and vary that a wee bit over the next couple of days. We can go back to marching, whatever you're comfortable with. Similar seated, if you want to sit and do some toe taps, have that lovely seated posture. Or march. Just paddle those feet. You do whatever you're able and comfortable to do. And bring in your arms when you feel comfortable. One arm or two arms. And because we're now in week four, maybe lift your knees a wee bit higher if you can. And I forgot to mention about the clear space round about, but in the kitchen, all the hazards in my kitchen, get the cats, the ducks, the mice, the hamsters, the budgies, whatever's coming in and out, just get them out and make sure you get a nice, safe space um, to move this afternoon. Lovely. Hope you're feeling a bit warmer. We've got a lot to pack into this session, so we'll get started as ever. Lovely tall posture. Nice straight back, tummy tucked in, shoulders back, nice and soft, knees soft, and that imaginary string taking your head up to the ceiling. We're going to do some shoulder shrugs and rolls. So we've done this many a day, same seated as standing. So just lift your shoulders up to your ears with that lovely posture and roll them back. We're going to do 10 of those up and round. Try and keep count. You do, if you can only do two or five, you do what's comfortable for you. So up to your ears and round to the back. And feel that lovely squeeze. Shoulder blades at the, the back there. We do hold a lot of tension in our shoulders, so good to get a bit of that moved out the way. I've no idea how many that is, but the aim is if you're watching this video, you're doing it at home, you do up to 10 if you can, but do as many as you feel comfortable with. Lovely. Our next movement is a bit of a sway. So we're going to stand with our feet probably about shoulder width, hip width apart. And we're just going to have that lovely posture and slide, slide through our hips, just as if we're doing a nice glide. We're going to lift the heel of our back foot as we slide forward, just as if we're doing a lovely dance, bringing in your arms. And that's just a lovely slide to keep get our hips moving, get our whole, get our shoulders too. We use a lot of different joints in there. So just enjoy that move. And we can turn around and do it the, do it the other side. So we slide, nice stable hips, and just lift the heel of that back foot as you slide forward. And if you want to do a seated option, just the same. Just slide your moving with your weight from one bum cheek usually to the other. And bring in your arms. Bring them up as high as you can. And we'll just do a wee upward reach while we're here. Seated down, seated down, sorry. We stretch up to the side and hold it there and feel that lovely stretch. Do the same with your other arm, a lovely tall, tall stretch to the side there. And that's exactly the same standing up. We're going to do 
a tricky one on our balance this lunchtime. And this is a high challenge on your balance, so have some support near at hand and hold on with your two hands, one hand, whatever you need to feel comfortable. I want you to stand quite close to your support. Beautiful posture, tummy tucked in. And just slowly raise your weight onto your heels. So you're pulling your toes up into the air. And just count to three in your head and back down again. And this might be quite difficult. We're going to do a few of those. Quite difficult on your ankles if your ankles are quite stiff. But a lovely one to do to try and kind of move those ankles about a bit. Lovely. Do another one. Up onto those heels and hold it. Feel that lovely stretch in the calves and the back of your legs. While we're up in the heels, I want you to stand to the side of your support. Again, raise yourself up onto your heels and have your support there. And just try and do a couple of steps on your heels. And that does cause a bit of a wobble for me. Have a couple of steps back, backwards too. Keep holding on um, because that is quite a high challenge because that's our looking at our balance when we're moving. So that's a bit more of a challenge. If you're going to do a seated option for that one, just raise your toes up in the air to the count of three and back down. And do a few of those. If you're going to do some heel walking, you need to actually get your heels a wee bit further, further back, maybe sit a wee bit further back in the chair. And just a couple of wee steps forwards and backwards. Beautiful. Our next move, we're going to do some lunges. So we are standing nice and tall. Just going to take a small step forward with one leg. Placing it on the floor and pushing back to our neutral stance. Do the same with the other leg. We step forward, lean forward, bend our knee and push back. We'll do five of those on each side. Just feel your weight moving forward on that knee. And we can do this. You can build this in when you're mopping your floor. And actually, I've got my mop handy there on the floor. It's absolutely manky, needing a good clean. So we could be taking a wee step forward. Getting that floor. Oh. This, that is a manky floor. We step forward, lean forward, using your mop as a support. And exactly the same if we're going to do that seated. Just get the mop out of the way. So just a wee step forward and lean in a wee bit there. Other foot forward, lean out. And aim for five of those on each side. Beautiful. And that's our movement session for this lunchtime. We just get into our cool down march or dance, whatever you fancy doing. We just do some do some marching. Sometimes I have a wee bit difficulty speaking and moving at the same time. So if I change my mood, you do what you fancy. Do some salsa, do some side steps, do some toe taps, whatever you feel comfortable with. Do some boxing. As long as you're keeping moving, that's the most important thing. Just a wee reminder about our health and wellbeing friendship circles that are going to be starting in December time. Don't need the internet or anything, video or anything for those. Just need a, a phone, a mobile phone or a landline phone, whatever. And that's where we're getting together some small groups of people just to have a chat and a bit of discussion about health and wellbeing. How we can support you to move a wee bit more, sit a wee bit less, 
or any health and well-being topics that are important or dear to you, we'd lovely, we would love to chat with you about that. They'll be facilitated by Yolanda and myself, um, and they'll make you feel very much at home. You need to register for those to be part of the health and well-being circles. So you need to phone our switchboard and the number, try and remember it, 0333 323 2400. I'll try that again. It's on the worktop there, so I'm having a wee glance at it. It's 0333 323 2400. We've got to recap all the kind of stuff we were doing this lunchtime. We did some shoulder rolls and shrugs just to kind of loosen up our shoulders. What else did we do? We did that wide base sway. And you could do that as a, a movement to get your circulation going too. And a bit of a, an upward, upward reach. We did a bit of balance on our heels and a tiny bit of walking with support onto our heels as well. We did some lunches, didn't we? With a mop, so the floor's looking a whole lot cleaner. That's our session over for today. Thank you so much for joining in. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it got you moving a wee bit this lunchtime. If you get any feedback for us, we would love, love to hear from you. Leave us a wee comment or click on the like, the like icon, if you like us, of course. Um, and just to say, have a lovely afternoon and look forward to seeing you at 4 o'clock.